Here is all dirty, but out there looks much nicer. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to summer in England. The wind today is blowing a lot stronger than the forecast at 10 knots. So I was going to do a long swim. Now I'm going to do a short swim because it looks like there's a little bit stirred up near the coast. The first 200 meters, but after that should be clear. So nothing more to do than get in the water and find some fish. Quite a stiff breeze today. Hopefully once I get away from the shallows here, it flattens out a little bit. This first spot's only about half a K out. Pretty easy to get to. Thankfully, the water is delightfully warm for England. Back in the five mil suit. Absolutely loving it. out the bottom which is a great side for here. Let's get into it. This is a lesson in being alert, especially on the very first dive. This bass was on the move and didn't give me much hope of a shot. Well, that's not a great start. First drop, I thought it was a wrasse heading away from me because it was so fat behind the back, but it was a bass probably about three kilograms. And I saw it go onto a ledge and I tried to have a bit of a blind shot from behind, but no luck. Hopefully that's not the last opportunity I get today. I head back down to one hole I've shot a few mullet out of in the past. It's unusually quiet as there should be loads of them around this time of year. I thought I'll go around and look at the other side of the rock and sure enough, this big mullet rockets off. Over to another hole I've got marked. I've never seen a bass inside but always hold hopes one day it might deliver. It's always full of these pouting which is normally a good sign but not today. 30 dives later and I'm beginning to think today just isn't my day. It's no kraken, but this cuttlefish is good enough for a meal. I spent quite a bit of time looking at holes here. Some lovely holes. Spooked one bass. Spooked a massive mullet as well. Cuttlefish is all I've got so far, but I've never speared one of those in the UK, so quite pleased with that. Might move on after a few more dives around here, but really nice conditions. Just easy diving, seven meters. I moved on to another piece of structure that I've shot some nice bass around before. I anchor my float away from it and swim across the bottom towards it. As I look left to the archway, I spot two mullet hurrying away from me. Then I look to the right archway, a small bass also decides to do a U-turn. Just not my day today. Maybe the area had been dived a lot in previous days, but the fish just seemed unusually spooky. Sometimes it doesn't always go to plan. Today, no fish, just a couple fish today. Not a big one, but it'll be a nice feed for Hannah and I. Saw a few fish today, not many, but enough that I probably should have come home with one. That's spear fishing for you, I guess. 
See you back in the kitchen. Last year, Hannah and I got to go to one of the best seafood restaurants in London. It's called Cornerstone by chef Tom Brown. And we had, as part of our degustation, a cacio e pepe, but with cuttlefish instead of traditional pasta. So I'm going to try and replicate something along those lines tonight. I'm sure it probably won't be quite as good as Tom's, but very simply, it's just pecorino, some pepper, some pasta water, and I'm going to use this cuttlefish bring it all together and hopefully resemble something that is a delicious meal. Cuttlefish are easy to clean, just like a squid. You just remove the head, pull out the cuttle shell out of a cuttlefish, hence why it's called a cuttlefish. It doesn't have a feather-like substance like the squid does. And then all you do, turn it inside out, clean off all the bits, left with a perfectly clean hood. The next step is to cut this into very fine pieces of cuttlefish that will resemble fettuccine, I hope. I think that's what we're after. It looks a little bit like tagliatelle. These are the bits here that probably resemble pasta a little bit more than the tentacles. I've just diced up the tentacles. I'm going to flash fry those in a smaller pan and use that as a little bit of a topper to add a bit of texture to this. I know it's not traditional for cacio e pepe, but this isn't a traditional dish. As the name suggests, needs lots of fresh ground black pepper. Pepe being pepper in Italian. So now that we have the pepper a little bit aromatic with a little bit of heat, we're going to add some cooking water from some linguine from last night's meal of crab pasta. So this is just the starchy water from some pasta when you cook it. So we reserve that and then into the pan. Maybe want that a little bit hotter. Just going to use that here to create a little bit of a sauce. Fire that up. Probably needed that a little bit hotter, but anyway, all good. In the meantime, I grated some pecorino cheese to mix with the pasta water to form a sauce. In fairness, the water probably needed to be a little bit hotter for this. We have our pepper and we're going to add our cuttlefish. Get that nice and coated with our pepper and then start adding sauce. At the same time, I fry the tentacle pieces quickly in some olive oil, just enough to get some color on the cuttlefish. I think I've got it. It's looking half decent, thanks to the Le Creuset MVP in the kitchen, this thing. Okay, here we go. Let's get this into a plate. Oh, it's very cheesy. Oh, a nice big slab of it up on the side of the plate, which is always great for plating, but we'll clean that up in a second. I gotta say, I should probably do recipes ahead of time before I try and do them for YouTube. But anyway, it'll taste good. I'm just gonna clean this bowl up a touch because it looks pretty dank right now. Then we're going to give it a few hits on this. If there wasn't enough pecorino or not already. Pepper, of course, naturally. And some carefully placed little pieces of cuttlefish bits there over the top. I think I have a little bit more work to do on the sauce part of this dish, but nonetheless, it is incredibly tasty. It's not as good as Tom Brown's, but I think with a little bit of work, make the sauce a little bit thinner. I think this could be a real showstopper. I've never shot a cuttlefish in this country and they are absolutely delicious. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It actually helps us out. Subscribe if you aren't already. We'll see you on the next adventure somewhere.